That is Rome, and it's Rome for a reason. A home fit for a princess is on the market in Italy. You'll need the budget of a billionaire, however, to get it. So take a look at the property. It's known as Villa Aurora, and it is a 16th century estate among the most expensive homes for sale anywhere in the world, valued at more than half a billion dollars. It did, however, fail at auction yesterday. Not sure why. The home comes with rare masterpieces from the art world and so many rooms that the current owner does not even bother to count them. What are you gonna do? It's got the makings of a fairy tale. A real life prince meets a woman from Texas, makes her a princess and gives her this historic villa that's virtually exploding with art. All of it priceless, uh, well, almost priceless. A 16th century Roman villa will soon be on the market, and the American heiress that owns it is hoping it'll be bought by Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. The Villa Aurora, home to sculptures by Michelangelo, a mural by Caravaggio, and letters handwritten by Marie Antoinette, has an asking price of $545 million. One of the most important aspects of this building is an art history nerd's dream. Villa Aurora houses the only wall mural in existence by the renowned late Renaissance painter Caravaggio. Caravaggio. The current owner of the house, Princess Rita Boncampagni Ludovosi, was born in Texas 72 years ago, and her life has been just as colorful and exciting as the mansion she calls home. She was married to a congressman from South Carolina who was convicted in 1980 for accepting bribes, and in the wake of that scandal, she not only wrote about it for Playboy magazine, but posed in the issue wearing a feather boa. The princess Rita then went on to work in luxury real estate, where she sold the General Motors building to none other other than Donald J. Trump. The last 20 years, she's devoted herself to the upkeep of Villa Aurora, raising money by opening it for private tours and making it accessible to scholars. After her husband's death a few years ago, a vicious legal inheritance battle ensued, and an Italian court ruled this past September that the villa will be auctioned. The villa has housed some insanely notable guests over the centuries, including Galileo, Goethe, Stendhal, Gogol, Tchaikovsky, and Henry James. Scholars have flocked to the villa, and archaeologists have discovered that a survey of the property revealed that the Roman ruins underground are massive and actually dwarf the villa itself. So why does she want a Musk or Bezos to step in? The princess says that, quote, you have to have a billionaire buy this. A millionaire is not enough. It needs someone with deep pockets who doesn't care if you have to spend $10,000 on a water leak or something. She ideally wants it turned into a museum, which could happen as the Italian state is legally allowed to overturn any offer on the property. But it's very unlikely. As T. Corey Brennan, a professor of classics at Rutgers University, says, quote, the very high asking price, which is north of 500 million US dollars, really makes it impossible for the Italian state to match an offer and buy it. Here's hoping whoever is lucky enough to purchase the villa will share the princess's dream of keeping it open and accessible to the public. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.